Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to try to do this in 15 minutes, but I wanted to make a little uh, welcome video for you. Uh, this is the welcome video for Math 171, uh, Section 830A. So it's an A section class that takes place the first eight weeks of the semester. Um, and it's uh, asynchronous, it's all online, there's uh, no class meeting times. But um, I wanted to make sure I took a minute and uh, introduce myself. I am Mr. Lee, your instructor for this course. Um, and if there's anything I can do to support you or help you uh, during your time in the class, please reach out and let me know. Uh, email is the quickest way to get in touch with me. Um, I will get in I'll get back with you within 24 hours, but oftentimes I can get back within a few minutes. So I'm here to support you. Please uh, reach out if I can help. So I wanted to go over the course a little bit, spend some time talking about policies and procedures so you can really dive in on course content. So uh, I'm going to show our Blackboard page right here. So this is uh, Math 171, Section 830A. Um, when you log into Blackboard, you will need to click on Courses to find it. And uh, I'm in a lot of courses. So I like to put a star by the classes that I'm actively working on. All right, so let's enter it here. Um, it should, and I'm in edit mode, let's get it out of edit mode to look a little more like what you guys see. It should automatically land you on the coursework page. This is where you're going to spend uh, most of your time. Also, as I'm recording this, this is not available to students yet. Uh, Blackboard becomes available to students on Monday morning. I believe it turns on at 8 o'clock the first day of the semester. So you won't, as I'm recording this, you don't have access, but you should have you know, access after the class starts. So you'll spend most of your time here under coursework. Depending on your screen resolution, the left uh, menu may or may not show, and you may have to pull the left menu out. There are a few things, and there's some stuff I have here that you don't have because I'm an instructor. Uh, but there's a few things here I want to highlight. Uh, there is an announcements tab. I will post this video in the announcements, but I can't do that yet because I haven't finished recording it. Um, the start here tab, I'll try to post the video here as well. Uh, the nice thing about the start here tab is that it gives you some virtual calculator uh, options, which um, if you don't have a physical calculator, that could be very helpful. Um, and you're welcome to use these at any time coursework, and then the course entry assignment. This is very important. Please, right now, um, after the course opens, on the first day, please go complete the course entry assignment. If you do not complete the course entry assignment, you will be automatically kicked out of the class, and there's like nothing I can do to help. So please go complete this. Uh, it's not for a grade. It's not going to affect your grade in the class at all. It just allows you to stay in the course. So please go complete it. Um, any class that has an online portion is required to do an, a course entry assignment. So please go complete this. All right. Um, instructor contact information is here. Uh, email is absolutely the easiest way to get in touch with me. I'm actually moving offices. Um, so I'm going to try to update this information. I don't know where my new office is going to be. And I don't know if my new office has a phone or if it does have a phone, what the number is. So uh, that's not very helpful right now, but please uh, email me. If you want to meet in person, email me and let me know. We can work that out. I, I do have uh, student hours at 11 o'clock every day, Monday through Thursday. But um, I can oftentimes get in, I can, I can oftentimes meet up with students quicker than that. Um, I'm also, my new office is going to be in King, so that might not be convenient for you just to swing by. So please email me. We can meet virtually. We can meet over the phone. We can just talk via email or we can work out a time to meet in person. I'm happy to work with you. Um, just reach out and let me know. We'll work something out. Uh, yeah, there's a Zoom meeting space in case you want to meet virtually. Uh, I can use that space. Um, the discussion board here, there's only one discussion board for the course and it's the course entry assignment. This is the same is what you would click on right here. So you would click on this title and then click, click Create Thread in order to post your response. So please complete that course entry assignment. OK. Um, most of the rest of this video is going to be me talking about the syllabus. I already have the syllabus pulled up here. Um, so I am going to go to coursework, so we will click
click back over here some. Uh, oh, and I'll talk about the book while I'm here. Um, the textbook for the course, you can find the link to it right here. Um, you can buy it on Amazon, usually around $30. We'll be using mainly the first few, first four chapters in this course, and then Math 172 picks up with Chapter 5. We do pull one section out of 8.1. So most students use the book virtually. If you want to buy a printed copy, you can. If you want to, um, where's the PDF? Here's the PDF I want. If you want to just uh, view it as a PDF, you can. Or what I've also done is what the vast majority of students do. If you want to print 704 pages, you're welcome to. But in each section, I'll just use 1.3 as an example. The text is embedded in the folder. This is how most students access the text. I think this is the easiest and most convenient way. So, um, all right. So what do I need to say here? This is uh, pre-calc algebra. So uh, this is part of our calculus sequence. There's two pre-calculus courses, an algebra-based course, and then Math 172 is a trigonometry-based course. This is a session, spring 2024. It's kind of wild. I'm recording this on the second. It's kind of wild to think that it's already 2024. Ooh, I have the years wrong right there. We want to fix that right now. All right. Um, this is a 100% online class. My name is Mr. Lee. You can email me and call me Mr. Lee. That's fine. Email is the easiest way to get in touch with me. I don't know what's going on with my phone right now, so that's not very helpful. Um, and I have a student hour, but oftentimes if you need to meet up with me, I can, I can get in touch with you a lot quicker than waiting till 11 o'clock the next day. Um, Ms. Davis is my uh, department chair. There's your contact information. There's no prereq for the course. There is a co-rec class. Um, if you need the co-rec class, you are enrolled in it. Um, if you are enrolled in the co-rec class, do not withdraw from it. If you withdraw from the co-rec class, I am required to withdraw you from my class. So make sure you stay in the co-rec class and you take care of business. All right, uh, here's student learning outcomes. You can read those on your own time. Um, and the last day to withdraw is February 9th. So uh, if uh, I want all of y'all to pass, I'm here to support you in being successful in this course. Uh, but if you're if you're not participating in the course, it's better to withdraw than to earn an F. So, all right. Um, there's the universal policies and procedures here. We use the 10-point grading scale. Okay, stuff unique to our course. There are four tests in our class, each worth 7.5%. None of the tests are cumulative. Each test stands alone. So I'm going to actually bounce between this block and the pacing guide down here. So this is the pacing guide. If you print one thing for my class, I really encourage you to print this pacing guide. Uh, I can print it for you if that's helpful. I think the pacing guide is really helpful. So you see on the pacing guide when tests turn off. All tests are open right now. Sometimes I have students that knock this course out in two weeks if that's what you want to do, power to you. Um, but you must complete a test by 11.55 p.m. on the Saturday or date that it's noted. Uh, I also want to point out test four is due on Thursday, not on Saturday. The last test is due on a Thursday, and um, I am recording grades the next morning, so I don't have a lot of space to work with you. So please you know, plan accordingly. So uh, there's a test every two weeks. They turn off at 11.55 on Saturday. You can certainly take them, you know, well before then. Um, tests are 15 questions long. I'm actually going to pull up a test over here off screen to make sure I set that up correctly. It went with 15 questions. Yes. All of the test questions are pulled directly from the homework assignments. 
there should be no surprises on the test. Um, tests are not cumulative, meaning the questions are on test three are only pulled from the content we have covered since test two. There is no cumulative midterm. There is no cumulative final. I also intentionally made tests 30% of your total grade, meaning if you missed all four tests and you were taking care of business with the other two subjects, with the other two uh, categories, homework and labs, you would still have a 70 in the class. So uh, I like to see students average at least a 50 on the tests. If you're taking care of business with homeworks and labs, and you're averaging a 50 on the tests, you have a B in the course. So I don't want this to be a high stakes grading situation. All right, uh, if you have any questions about that, reach out and let me know, but I think we're gonna talk about homeworks. Uh, I really believe in helping you uh, eat the elephant. All right, this is a, a five credit hour course. There is a lot of content that we need to cover. So uh, I do regular, basically, daily homework assignments. I, I think the idea of having smaller daily assignments is a better approach for this course than having one big assignment at the end of the week. Um, so you will have a homework assignment due most, well, let's see, let's go down here, most Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays you will have a homework assignment due. The first week of class is a little different. The first day of class all you need to do is complete the course entry assignment. There's no homework. The first homework is due Tuesday night. We have a homework Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. There's no lab week one. Typically, you have a lab on Thursday. So the typical routine is homework Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night, lab Thursday night. All right, let's take a look at a homework. I'm just gonna pick on section 1.4 here. How am I doing on time? Uh, we're gonna click start. All right, I'm at 12 minutes. I need to talk a little bit faster. Um, you can jump around questions, that's fine. You can leave and come back, that's fine. Um, let's, uh, let's try to answer this question. Maybe we think the answer is Mr. Lee. Oh, no, Mr. Lee is not the answer. So we're gonna get a similar question. Uh, maybe we think the answer is Jesus. No, nope, Jesus is not the answer to this question either. Uh, maybe we think the answer is maths. Nope, or maybe I didn't need an S. Maybe the answer is math. Okay, I'm burning through attempts here. You'll notice on the right side that the number keeps ticking down. So we have 95 attempts left on this question. I wish I could make this unlimited, but the software doesn't let me do that. So you get 100 attempts each question. I have never had a student in good faith burn through 100 attempts on a question. It's very rare for students to burn through 10 attempts. So I think of it as being unlimited attempts. If you in good faith burn through all 100 attempts, which has never happened before, please reach out to me and I can work with you one-on-one -on -one to figure out a plan B. Um, when you get a question correct, you get full credit for the question. There is no penalty for burning through attempts. So with enough time, and enough support, you can get a 100% on every homework assignment. All right, and that's what I like to see students do. You know, sometimes I have students that they don't like their standing in the class, and they're like, "Well, I'm just, I'm just not a good test taker." I'm like, "Well, your test grades don't concern me. I get high stake testing can be stressful. These homework assignments, where you're only completing half of the assignment and you have unlimited attempts, that's what really concerns me." So make sure you're budgeting the time. You know, these uh, homework assignments are typically about 15 questions long. Make sure you're budgeting the time you need to knock these out. I also wanna point out, take the time to set the table. So often students, they skip the lecture video, they skip the text, they, they skip the lesson videos, they just jump straight into the assignment and then they get stuck on a question Take the time to actually digest the course material 
before you jump into the assessment. I think that's going to make your life easier. Okay, so you have regular nightly homework assignments. So make sure you're budgeting your time. This class is a lot of work. So budgeting your time. Reach out if you have any questions. Email is the easiest way to get in touch with me. Uh, we also offer awesome, and I'll, I'll try to send this out later, but we offer awesome tutoring services here. We offer free tutoring for every student. There's walk-in tutoring available on campus, and there's virtual tutoring available um, at, by appointment at home. And I can help you get set up with an appointment. If that's something you need assistance with, just let me know, and I'll send out information on that later. Okay, the other thing I want to talk about, we are going to run over 15 minutes, labs. Okay, the way I do labs, it's probably different than the way you have experienced labs in the past. So I'm going to show you, I need to minimize this, there we go, show you one of the labs. And I even, I'm going to make a separate video on labs, but I'm going to give you a crash course right now. Um, I don't like opening the first one. Oh, no, we'll open lab four here. Okay, and there's a block here. There is a add work button. You must show your work on the labs, as in you need to upload a file that has your work on it with the labs. Um, the easiest way to accomplish this, and I'm going to make a separate video on this, is to snap a picture with your phone and then upload the file. That's the easiest way to do this. Um, if you do not uh, include your work, and there's a message that says this before you even start the assignment. Um, if you do not attach your work, you will not receive credit for that question. So um, I go through and review everybody's work after the assignment is due. If you do not include your work, you will not receive credit for that question. Uh, if you get a question wrong and your work looks good, I give partial credit. So. There's advantages and disadvantages. Um, so make sure you are attaching your work. If you're not attaching your work, or if there's, you think there's an issue, please email me and let me know. Email me right then. Let me know. I can work with you. Um, I'm also, and this is, this is the big thing, I am happy to check your lab work. If you will email it to me so I can take a look at it, I will look it over and say, oh yeah, this looks great. Go submit this. You're gonna you're you're in great shape here. I will check your lab work for you. Now you have to email it to me, and really you need to email it before the last minute. You don't want to start working on labs at 11 o'clock on Thursday evening. Um, I really encourage you to work ahead an assignment or two in this class. I think it makes your life a lot easier. Um, but if you will email me your lab work, I'm happy to take a look at it and give you feedback on it. I can give you feedback on it multiple times. You can email it to me seven or eight times for me to check it. I am happy to check your lab work. You gotta send it to me so I can do it. But I'm happy to check it for you before you submit it. Okay. Um, I think that's the highlights. Let's uh, scroll through the rest of this here. Um, there is no extra credit in the course. Please make sure you're participating. I'm going to try my best to get back to you quickly. And uh, I think this expected course schedule is really important. So that's going to be the highlights from me. Um, please reach out if you have any questions. Um, I'm happy to help. I'm here to be a support. All right. Go in peace.